Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will set up a Flutter on Windows without using Android Studio. <laughs> Basically, I like to use VS Code rather than Android Studio because VS Code is super fast and it's lightweight compared to the Android Studio. So without wasting time, let's get started. In order to install Flutter on Windows, we need few softwares. So first of all, we need to download JDK, then the Flutter SDK. Third one is we need the Android command line tool because we are not installing the Android Studio. That's the reason we have to install the Android SDK manually. And the fourth thing is we need the VS Code. Now let's download the JDK. Now just click on the first link and go to the Oracle website and here you can get your JDK download. So just go to the Windows section and you can get the second one that is the 64-bit installer and just click on this button it will start downloading the JDK for you. Now the second thing that we need is a Flutter SDK. So now let's download the Flutter SDK. Download Flutter SDK. And again click on the first link and it will navigate you to the official website of Flutter that is flutter.dev and click on the button get started then click on windows at the time of recording this video the flutter 2.10 is the latest version available here but i won't go with this particular version because uh, i had some issue with this version along with my uh, vs code setup that's the reason i would go with the old uh, stable version of sdk so for this we have to click on the link called sdk release pages so here it will show you some of the old channels uh, of your flutter sdk so from that I will go with this one Flutter 2.8. Okay, this is what I have used so far and just click it and it will start downloading Flutter for you. The third thing that we need is an Android command line tool. For this you have to write here Android SDK download and just open the first link here. This will navigate you to the official website where you can download the Android Studio but we don't need Android Studio. So just scroll down a little bit and here you will find an option called command line tools only. From this we have to select this windows option. So click on this windows here and now in this case you have to just accept your terms and condition and click on the button download android command and tools and it will start downloading the tools for you. Now the last thing that we need is to download the VS code. So let's download the VS code. So you have to write here download download the VS code again click on the first link it will navigate you to the official website for getting your VS code and just click on the windows and it will start downloading VS code for your windows setup now you can see I have downloaded all these four softwares properly this is the setup of our JDK this is the VS code this one is your uh, flutter SDK and this one is the Android command and tool now install the JDK for this you just have to double click on the setup then click on next again the next JDK is now installed successfully just click on this close button and now it's time to install the VS code just double click on VS code accept the terms and condition click on next 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 and install VS code is installed successfully, just click on this finish button. Now it's time to unzip or extract your Flutter SDK and your Android command line tools. Now you can see I have a folder called uh, Flutter Dev, inside which I have properly extracted the Flutter SDK as well as the Android command line tools. Now set the path for Flutter bin directory. For this go inside this Flutter folder, again go inside the Flutter folder go inside the bean folder then just click here and copy this path press the windows button and just type the path and hit the enter button it will navigate you to the path variable tap on this environment variable you will see the option called path here click on edit and click on new and just paste this path that we have copied here and just click on ok and now one more thing is that we need to create JDK home and set the path for JDK bin directory. For this, let's go inside the C drive, then inside the program folder, 
go inside the folder called Java and then we need to copy this bean path. Let's click here and copy the path up to the bean. Click on this path, click on the edit button and just press new and paste the path that you have copied for your bean directory. Now let's click on OK. Here we need to create a new variable called Java home. Just click on new button and just type in capital Java underscore home and just paste this path but don't go for the bean. Simply you have to go for this particular path. Click on OK ok and ok here now it's time to install the android sdk for this just go inside the folder called the command line tools again go inside this command line tools now here you will find a bean folder now go inside the bean and at this particular path we have to open the command prompt so just click here and type the cmd this will open command prompt for you guys and just maximize this command prompt in this command prompt, we have to hit total three commands. Let's understand the first command. The first is SDK manager dot bat and inside this we have to write build tools and the version that I'm using is the 30.0.0 and here I must specify the SDK root so I should write here SDK root is equals to i'm writing dollar and the slash which means i want my sdk as the previous directory and hit the enter button The second command that we need to hit is sdk manager dot bat and inside this we have to write platforms so platforms colon android then dash specific version so I will write here 30 and we have to specify sdk root so I will write here sdk root is equals to dot dot and the slash The last command that we need is sdk manager dot bat and here we have to write cmd line tools and again again we have to specify the sdk root in the form of sdk root is equals to dot dot and slash Now close this command prompt. Now it's time to set the path for platform and platform tools directly. So for this go inside this command line tools inside again command line tools. Here you will find two folders platform and platform tools. So we must set the path for this platform and platform tools. Just go inside the platform tools. Just click here. Copy this path and hit the windows button and type for the path. And hit the enter button. Click on this environment variable. Click on the path click on edit click on new and paste this particular path that you have copied then again you can paste this path but you have to ignore these tools and hyphen here so as i'm doing this just remove these tools and hyphen just paste it up to the platform click on ok again ok and ok open the new command prompt and hit the command called flutter doctor Now you can see everything is fine the only one problem is it says that we don't have this particular license just copy this command so i have just copied it and paste it here hit the enter button and accepts this license from your android now the last time i'm trying with this flutter doctor command and you will see that flutter doctor will say everything is resolved in my computer 
Now, when I hit the Flutter Doctor again, you can see it is saying Flutter is installed properly. I have the proper Android SDK version installed. Then I have the VS Code installed here. Now, close this command prompt. Now, I will create a new Flutter project and I will run that one using the VS Code. So for this, I have a folder called My Apps. Here, I will create my first application. So, let me open command prompt here and I will create a new Flutter project. Let's say Flutter create let's say i will write here first app first underscore app so this is what my first project is and it will create the first project for me now just close this one now inside this VS Code, I must open the project that I have created right now. So let's click on this file, click on the folder and go for the path where your project is available. So it's available inside this Siddharth. So I should go inside my apps. And this is what my first app is. Click on the select folder and this will open the project for you. Just click on this trusted if it is there for you guys. And the important thing is I must go inside this extension and I should install the extension for Flutter. So just type your Flutter and click here and click on the button called install. So by default this will install Flutter as well as Dart for you guys. So it will take some time. Now just close this tab and click on this explorer here you will find a folder called lib click on this main file and it's time to run your first flutter application now just go in the menu called run and click on the start debugging now you can see it has selected two devices it, show, it is showing the chrome and the edge so i will go with the chrome so let's click on run and click on the start debugging so this will launch your first application Now you can see my application has launched properly and I can click on this button plus so it's incrementing the value and it's quite nice. If you find any problem or any error following these steps, let me know in the comment. I will try to help you guys. That's it for this video guys. See you guys in the next video. 